everyone, Keith with the Tulsa Motor Club, and today we're going to wrap some exhaust. I need to wrap the SR exhaust as well as re-wrap the KZ's exhaust. It's got an old worn out one that just really needs replaced. So let's just jump right into it. Obviously you need the wrap that you want to install, some steel zip ties, and some high temp silicone protective spray. This stuff comes in different colors, so make sure you get the right color that matches the wrap that you got. And if you want to wear a ready, the wrap is made with fiberglass pieces, so you're going to want to wear some protective gear. Glasses, gloves, and a respirator is probably not a bad idea either. Once you have all your supplies together, the first step is to remove the exhaust, which I've already done off camera, as well as remove the old wrap and clean it from any old gunk that was left on there. Now there were a couple different problems and frustrations that I ran into along the way, but for now I'll just walk you through the process so you can see how it was all done, and I'll cover those problems later. And once your exhaust is removed and clean and ready to be worked on, start by wetting your exhaust strap. You don't want to soak it, but rather just let a small stream of water run over it and squeeze it and work the water through until you can't feel any other hard surfaces in the wrap. Now it's important that you don't fully soak the wrap by dunking it in a bucket or anything like that. Soaking it could affect the long term performance of it and we don't want that to happen. Now everything I've seen is said to start your wrap at the collection end of the pipe. But in all those videos, they start at different ends. So I wasn't really sure what the collection end was. I went ahead and started at the end of the pipe that connects to the engine. Since I have a single pipe, I don't think it really matters since we're just working with one pipe. If you had multiple pipes, the technique might be a little different. I'll be sure to link some videos down below that were helpful for me if you want to check them out as well. Start your first revolution by taking the rough edge of the wrap and folding it over itself and then fully wrapping that with the first revolution before you start working your way down the pipe. During this entire process, you're going to want to be sure that you keep constant pressure on the wrap and that you pull it tightly with every revolution, leaving about a quarter inch overlap. As I mentioned before, if you have an exhaust system with multiple pipes, the technique's going to change a little bit when you get down to the area where you have to begin wrapping multiple pipes together. And remember there will be a couple different videos linked below if you need some help. This is my first time doing this and I'm not really trying to give you any instruction on how to do it, more so just walking you through my process. that when you trim your stainless steel zip ties that you fold them over themselves that way the sharp edges are protected and don't scratch anything or risk cutting your finger or anything like that if you touch it. Now once you've got the wrap installed and it's totally dry and not wet from the water anymore you can apply the high temp silicone protective spray. Start by holding the can 5 to 6 inches away from the exhaust wrap itself and begin spraying in a large sweeping motion. Be sure to spray liberally and make sure you hit every little nook and cranny that's on the exhaust wrap. Usually the first coat does a fine job, but in the instance that you need a second coat, make sure you let the first coat dry totally. As I mentioned, I ran into a few different problems, all to which I found solutions for along the way. The biggest was just managing the wrap itself. Trying to keep it from getting all tangled up was quite an issue. There's a pretty easy way to measure how much length of wrap you'll need, and you can start by loosely wrapping the pipe before you start pulling it tight everywhere. Doing this would have helped me out and saved a lot of frustration and time along the way. I also kept a spray bottle of water handy just to keep wetting the wrap down as I was working with it. It kept drying out in this Tulsa heat, plus the time it took for me to keep working with it and having to untangle it wasn't helping either. Another little helpful thing I did was to use just regular plastic zip ties when I was holding the pipe tight while wrapping it. If you try to do this without it, your hands might get really tired and worn out really fast. Just be sure you remove the plastic zip ties before installing it on the bike. They can melt and you want to replace those with stainless steel zip ties. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it was my first time doing this and I know that it's not perfect, but I did learn from my mistakes and the SR's wrap looks much better than the KZ's wrap.
you want to see it, make sure you check me out on Instagram or Facebook because I'll be posting pictures. Those will be linked down below in the description. Be sure to hit that like button and let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry for interrupting the video, but as I'm finishing up the edit, there's still one thing that I'm wondering. I'm curious on if any of you have ever installed an exhaust strip before, and if you have, what are some of the problems that you came across? Also, if you have any tips or anything that I could use for the next time I install an exhaust strap, I'd like to hear about those as well. Be sure to let me know about those things down in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have dealt with before. Anyway, back to the video. And if you did like it, here are a couple other videos you can check out. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, Thanks for watching. Later.